Hello Taurus, this is your reading for February 14th through the 28th of this month. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys, from me to you, all right? If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. What's going on for my Taurus friends? All right. All right, guys, you know how we do. Mid-month, Celtic Cross. The energy that's going on around Taurus was challenging Taurus. The underlying issue. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Best possible outcome here. What's coming in for you guys? And how are you seeing this situation yourself right now? The influence your hopes oh all right we got two cards for your fears just gonna sit those over there right side up and then okay that one want to come out now let me put that back it just did not feel right because I flipped it over let's see overall outcome for Taurus overall outcome okay now that one came out by itself all right so let's see what's going on Around you guys, Ten of Wands, laying a burden down, something you felt very, that was very heavy on you, um, some issues from the past. I feel like you guys are facing that head on and um, you're, you're putting that shit aside, okay? What's challenging you is being sure, being decisive, deciding what it is that you want to do and doing it, okay? That's what's challenging you. So if you are laying down a burden, it's like you go back and forth with it. You're kind of going back and forth, floating ideas around in your head right now, okay? Let's see how you're viewing this situation, okay? There's something that you would like to see happen here. There's something that you're trying to manifest, I feel. What that is, we will see, all right? Could be a Gemini individual that you guys are um, dealing with, Sagittarius here. The underlying issue for you guys is the hermit. Some of you are in recluse, okay? You, you're kind of isolating yourselves from um, people. And I feel like you're doing this, though, just so you can gain some clarity is what I'm getting here. Because there's something that you are... You're trying to figure out what is the best best thing for you to do. What is the best path for you to take? And I feel like definitely this involves someone. Because the hermit is looking for the star. The star is destiny. The star is your path. The star is that person that you're meant to be with. Who you feel you are meant to be with. That feeling that you have inside. You guys are looking for someone. I feel. Okay. And I feel like there, there's like this, this manifestation um, that you're trying to like initiate here. Okay, let's see what was going on for you guys. Yeah, there's definitely a relationship here that a lot of you felt like um, this was a person that you wanted to be with. Okay, but it ended. It ended. I'm getting that strongly. Okay, and. I think what you're going back and forth about here is if it was the right thing to do to end this, whether it was you or someone else, if you guys really just want to let it go. And I think that's where you are. That's why, you know, you kind of float ideas around in your head. You guys are at a stalemate right now. Okay, you and the person that you're with. Now, let's see what the best possible outcome is here. The Six of Cups. Look at this. This is somebody that you just recently had a relationship with. And um, you feel very at home with this person. Okay, they feel very at home with you. This is your soulmate, most definitely. Whoever this is for you, this is your soulmate. All right? So the best possible outcome here, what you would like to see happen, I feel, is that you guys reunite. Okay? That you'll share this burden together. Whatever that is. And what I mean by burden is all the ups and downs, the ins and outs. You know, you guys can tackle that shit together is what I'm getting from you guys. Okay? What's coming in for you? 
Look at that, the Four of Wands. Stable relationship. Okay, if this is not a relationship, you're gaining your stability within yourself to be able to manifest this shit into existence. Okay, if this is what you want, Aries energy there. Now, the influence here look at that, Aries again is the fool taking a leap of faith. This is what you're wanting to do, or somebody's wanting to do this with you. That energy is very strong here. There's somebody that really wants this relationship back, whether you or them or both of you. And it could be both of you, okay? Strong Aries there. Now your hopes. Look at that shit. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Go get her or go get him, okay? Um, you want this person. And you're hoping, I feel, that they're still attracted to you because you are very attracted to them. Okay, And I feel like you guys are sharing this energy. I don't think you have anything to worry about, to be honest with you. I really don't. Your fear is that this person does not have any more love for you. That they will not want to get back. Or this is how they're feeling about you. Scorpio energy here. Okay. What your fear is, is that they will decide that this is not for them. They don't want to do this. There is no more love here. But that's not true. All right. The overall is the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocal love. Reciprocal energy. You guys working together. Giving each other what each other deserves here. Okay? I really don't want to pull any more cards. But I will. Just to see what this Ten of Wands and this Two of Swords is about for you guys. But, you know, this right here speaks to me that somebody is really wanting to reunite, get back together. Lots and lots of love here. Something happened um, in the past where you guys separated. Okay. Something happened here. Okay. Let's see. Let me get another deck for this right here. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? For Taurus. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? The Ten of Wands. Mm, justice. Want to do what's right. Want to know that what you're doing is the right thing to do. For everybody involved. This is such like um, a marriage here. Some of you actually probably do want to propose or somebody is wanting to propose to you. Somebody wants to get married here for sure. Okay. Let's see what this Two of Swords is about. What's the Two of Swords about here for Taurus? This is this mood change right here. The phases of the moon goes back and forth, back and forth. Knowing exactly what you want to do. Or them knowing exactly what they want to do. With these strong feelings here. But the mind is getting in the way. Okay, the mind is getting in the way here of what it is that, that you really want to do. It's like this or them blocking the feelings back and forth, back and forth. That's what that is. Okay, so your challenge is to decide what it is that you really want in your heart. Use your heart to decide what it is that you really want to do. I feel and go for that shit, okay? So we have Taurus. Of course, you're here. Um, we have, I, I'm feeling strong Aries energy here. Pisces here. Um, Scorpio energy. Maybe Gemini is here. Virgo. Libra. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and good luck, guys. Um, great Valentine's reading. I'm praying that this comes into fruition for those of you who are really eager and um, really want to you know, get back together with somebody that is good for you. If this is a good person, um, I'm praying for you that, that everything works out for you guys because this is lovely, actually. I see nothing but good cards here other than the fact that somebody has not decided that I'm going for this shit, okay? All right, guys. Bye.